Hammer Dude 2088. And finally, I know it took me forever to do this. I've been talking to a lot of you guys on the Twitch stream about it. But this is the very first episode of Back to Square 1.1. 1. 1. Our new series for the early game players trying to reach that mid-game level. And we're going to take it all the way back. We're going to show you all this new stuff that come to us that's added to the game. And we're going to revamp and make it even greater so we can get more people into this game. And hopefully find some new dedicated players so it can be a lot of fun and all of that good stuff. So this is going to be probably a little long of a video. So please do sit back, relax, and enjoy we're going to talk today about starting the game. That's one of the kind of confusing parts because you kind of got thrown into this game like uh, a while ago and it's like, what the heck am I doing? What is going on? But we're going to do this a little differently. I know when I do like my Saturday morning streams, I get a lot of people from Europe come in and they want advice, they want tips, they want help with things and I can never really help them because I don't have a Europe server account. So we're gonna take the main account and start Europe. And we're gonna start this brand new fresh and see if we can help some people on the Europe side of the game as well as help everyone else in the game that's just starting or kind of been stuck in that early game process. So, whenever this loads up, reason why it's going to be probably a long one. All right, Mana Crystal. The Mana Crystal, a pure crystal containing fearsome power. The magic war that began over this mysterious power. lasted over a hundred years. In the end with surprising solution called the Sky Arena, under the supervision of the Council of Summoners. All disputes were were settled by the battle in the arena. The victorious would be granted anything their hearts desire. Me trying to read this and keep up with it. <laughs> The first rule of the arena was simple. The uh, first rule of the arena, yeah, was simple. Yeah, there we go. I failed, I know. Accept the challenge. Those who are ready and will deserve the honor of victory. I'm definitely not reading what's on there. Ooh, okay. We get to make the um, name here. Hmm. So what should we name ourselves? Of course we're going to name ourselves the same thing. Because that's who I am. I wouldn't have it any other way. Maybe I would. I got other aliases. I go back in video games. But this is, this is, this is me. So this is what we're going to do. And I could probably actually be me on this server. Yes, I can. <laughs> GG. Okay, I'm not going to go through reading Elias. Okay, let's do it. You made it. I've been waiting for you. I'm Elia. And I'll be assisting you from here on out. Oh, you're going to really hate her. She's annoying. As an honor, and I'll do my best till the day you rule the arena. One day. We've been, we've all been a buzz with excitement. You came very highly recommended by Durin. Really, was I? By the way, how do you know Durin? It's because I'm a beast, Elliot. That's how I know. I've got a message from him. My friend, you finally decided to join the arena. I'm glad to hear you will be joining the forces. Times have been tough. You see, the Council of Magicians has, made, has many obstacles to overcome. 
the arena must be protected at all costs to resolve conflicts and keep the strong from overpowering the weak. Though I wouldn't object if you rose to the top to take it all. <laughs> but that's the way the world turns and it's time for you to take full control. I'll be looking forward to watching you. Sounds like Duran's putting all of his faith in you. I've been running around, preparing here and there, but fixing this place up will be no easy task. But I have faith in you. Let me introduce you to the island. You need mana stones to use magic. This is the Pond of Mana. It's shit. It's garbage. Collected anyway. This wondrous pond, however, attracts mana into the water. Be sure to visit it often to collect. Oh yeah, she says that part. So I shouldn't say that part. All right, if you left by now, I don't blame you. But please do stick around because there's it gets educational after I get through this dumb shit. Oh, click it. Bam, there we go. Next, I'll be taking you to the most important place, Summon Hinge. Here summoners call upon their monsters for battle. Yeah, you're gonna be doing a lot of this. There's gonna be a lot of salt. You're gonna pull that extra lapis that you don't want. All kind of shit happens here, so remember that. I have one unknown summon scroll. Why don't you summon one now? Why not? Let's summon. Let's see what we get. Unknown scrolls are like beautiful. When you're early game, they're beautiful, period. Kappa. Mm, unknown scroll. Let's summon what we get. Let's see. Ooh, we get a doggy. Seek the fire hellhound. Oh, hellhound that the swift attacker. Your summoning abilities really are as impressive as they, as impressive as they say. Oh, please, Elia, save me the sarcasm. Using the mana crystal will allow you to summon powerful three-star monsters or better. Really? That's how we do it? We get stronger monsters? I'm sure this place will be a piece of cake for you. Ooh, we get the summon with crystals. I don't advise to do that. Crystals are very important. They're the rare currency in this game. You know the one that you like pay for to be OP and mobile games? Yeah, that's what these are. Don't do this. It's stupid. Don't be like me because I'm stupid if you watched any of my videos. Don't do it. What a summon. What do we get? What do we get? Is it something good? Is it something great? Oh my god, it's a water fairy! A Lucia! She's the greatest monster in the game, Kappa! Wow, that was flawless! It's clear there's nothing more for me to teach you about summoning. Oh, but yes, there is plenty to learn about summoning. Get good. Find a system that works. Pull a net five. Next, we have the gate. Shall we? You can teleport to battle areas through the gateway. The energy required for dimensional movement is generated here, too. I've prepared a battle practice field in the Garen Forest nearby. Now that we summoned our monster, how about a warm-up? I'm ready. I'm ready. Got the monsters. We're gonna warm up. We're gonna battle. We're gonna body these little things. We're going to the outskirts. Let's do it. Let's go. We're gonna choose her. She got a leader skill. We're gonna talk more about that later. No, let's talk about leader skills right now. Because I don't think they're gonna do Is she gonna do that? Alright, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll just get through this first little part of the, of the uh, makeshift tutorial. I, I say makeshift because it's really not all that. You're getting a real tutorial from me. Just, just remember that. It, it's just practice, so no pressure. Let's begin. All right, all right. So, 
We got this skill, but bite your enemy and recover 30% of the inflicted damage as HP. Double attack, bite your enemy continuously to inflict great damage. All right, let's try this one. The second skill. Oh, and it says reusable in three turns. Okay, okay, we got cooldowns. That means after we use it, it's gonna take three more turns for us to get it back. So we're gonna hit this guy. Mm. Double attack. Booyah. The target arrow defers according to the property relationship. Fair, favorable, unfavored. So it's pretty much the attribute thing. Wind beats water, water beats fire, fire beats wind, and then light and dark is opposed to each other. They're gonna explain that, but I'm getting this shit out the way now. Alright, let's check out our skills. Aqua Hurricane attacks the enemy three times with a whirling storm of water, freezes the enemy for one turn with a 20% chance. Whatever percentages are in this game, believe me, don't believe them, they're bullshit. Purify removes all harmful effects on the target ally and recovers its HP. The recovery amount is proportionate to the attack power. Use reusable in three turns. Three turns to use it. Uh, I can't stand attack healing. It makes it hard to wound the monster, which will come up later in the game when I explain that stuff too. Alright, so let's attack this thing. Oh my god. Yes, can we do that? You can select battle speed one time, two times, three times. Three times speed is where you want to go. Quick, fast, to the point, done. Alright, and let's tackle. Booyah. And that's it. Ah! It's a vagabond with wind properties this time. That makes three monsters with different properties. Now you can f can fully utilize the psycho properties relationships in battle. You remember them, right? All right. Now this is the part where they explain it. Yeah. There we go. Fire. Fire beats wind. Wind beats water. Water beats fire. Light and dark opposed to each other. All that good stuff. Yeah. 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 So we're just, yeah, we're gonna do the clicky clicky B. Water beats fire, fire beats wind, and wind beats water. Easy, right? Oh, I almost forgot. Dora left you something. Okay, this is the part where I start actually skipping because I don't really want to kill all the time that you guys have watching this video. I actually want to, like, make some good content for you. Uh, but if you do enjoy me doing these crazy voices, I can continue doing it. But for now, we're going to skip. Okay. The one part that makes no sense uh, when you first start this game that you, that you kind of got to dive into the community to learn, and it's the rooms. Because they give you this one little room, and they tell you to put it on her. You engrave it. Okay, and let's actually read this so I can explain and see and, and explain why it just just doesn't help. The the room ma magic was successful. Can you see the difference? Uh, I suppose no. I can't see the difference yet. Let's try uh, the room power up this time. Okay, can I, like, no, you can't see the difference. Why? Because you can't click on the info. The info will show you your stats. So how am I supposed to know what's different? You'll see, though. you actually see. So we're going to power up. Boom. It powers up. Wow. You're a natural. Sometimes this fail, and later on, you're going to hate the failures to try to level up these rooms that you'll be using for your monsters to make them stronger. I know you can do it. Great job. Did you know that all rooms are divided into sets? They become stronger if you collect every room in a set. This is actually an important part, and I'm sure a lot of people skip it because the set, the sets and the set bonuses are really important. It would have been nice if Duran could have given a, us a whole set. They... Sh Say a monster is only as powerful as his runes engra engraving. That is true. Your monsters are complete shit unless they have strong runes. And it's mostly doing for your for your 
level of gameplay and then increase and further and further. Well, I guess we can't do anything but collect them ourselves, which is true. Now we need a power up cycle. Power up circle. This is a must have if you want to power up your monsters. Monster level and power up through the power up circle. Ready to summon a building this time? No need to be nervous. It's like they go through it so quick and you really don't get a good understanding. Because like, alright, you just went to the room and didn't explain anything that was important about the room. Which is stupid. Now we're going to this power up circle which is also pretty pretty useless. They actually get it right with the new update that they did that we will be going through and explaining as this series go along. But we're going to go ahead and place that. Because this is going to be a pretty long series. Just like in the original. Uh, that wasn't so bad, right? We're ready to power up the monsters now. I think I can skip through this part because we ain't got through the whole... Actually, actually, nope, nope, nope. Because I should still continue to explain the uh, terribleness of this. No, I'm just going to skip. Because once we through all of this, then I can actually start helping... You guys understand what's going on. But pretty much what it what it's doing is you place, you select your first monster to power up. Then you choose the fodder monster, which is the silver star monsters. Because gold stars are generally monsters you will use. The silver stars are complete food and, and mostly garbage. So you don't really need them for anything but powering up monsters. But more details on that later. So we're just going to skip that, get our level, and our Hellhound is a little stronger, he's level 2, which is good. 1 to 6 rooms are dropped in the order of each various stage. Now pretty much what it's saying is you have 6 slots, and each stage gives you that slots or room, specifically. It's a random room, but it gives you that. And then it show you the monsters that you can possibly get once you complete a battle as well as crafting materials for other various things in the game that you can get. Oh yeah, and then this is the rune. It drops an energy rune. It's a two set, so that means it takes two uh, two uh, energy runes from different slots to get the set bonus, which is HP percent, HP plus 15 percent, which can help your monsters um, be a little tankier. Okay, well now I can actually go on to something that's a little more important. So, uh, when you get past all of this and you do get to this point in the game, you want to go to your options tab. This is pretty pretty important. Uh, I generally turn the sound down pretty low, the music off. That's just me personally. Then I leave the camera rotation on, all of that good stuff. That stays on. I turn the boss animation off. Because there's like an animation when you get into like the dungeons where where the boss, they come out, they do something really cool, and then the battle starts. After a while, it gets pretty old, so you kind of want to turn that off. At least I do personally. Oh, uh, what else? Do, 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 do. Push quality off. Okay. Push notifications. Push notifications is actually important to people that like to play on the go. Like I, when I'm at work, I might um uh, I might have it like in my pocket and I might run a dungeon and on autoplay and with the push notifications it sends a pretty terrible vibration. But uh I guess it works sometimes when but when you get the vibration to let you know your dungeon is complete, your run is complete, whatever you're doing is done. And you can start over and do the next one. It's pretty efficient. You should try that out. So, so that's one thing that's kind of important to have. To have one. You don't necessarily have to do it. But it's just one of those things you can do. So that's pretty important. Okay. Next is here in the community. Underneath the, friend, the friends. Is the mentor mentee. Now this right here is pretty important. Because it allows you to add, and I can read this here, you can get support from summoners with the highest level. So, you, the highest level is 50, and you get to get well, whatever their rep monster is, and the rep monster you get to use in dungeons. And 
these are players that's clearly stronger than you and you get to use their monsters. It helps you go through the game faster, especially the main storyline. And it kind of helps you progress a little bit. So, so you can add users with level 50 as a mentor. You can add your mentors, monsters once a day. So once a day you get to use their monsters. You can get energy whenever you use your mentors, monsters. So yeah, you get also get energy, especially for you uh, free-to-play people. That energy is going to be a lot more important to the pay-to-play or the pay-to-win people. Okay, I guess this is a thing too. Yeah, every day you log in, you get something after you get through 24 days. You get to get a nice little light and dark scroll. They're like the rarest, one of the rarest uh, items in the game, them and Devil Mind. You do have a number of days until it reset, and when it resets, you have to start over. So, won't be able to get 24 on this account because there's only five days left. But back to what I was doing. Oop, let's collect our daily stuff. Back into the community. We're going to the mentor mentee. Bam. And we're going to add. Now, really, you can just add anything here. But I do have a rule of thumb of, like, certain monsters that I personally like to add for the progression. For the progression-wise, like, this monster in particular, which is Child, really strong monster. I add somebody that has him. We add that, uh... Ratesh, this monster right here, which is the Beast Monk, the Wind Beast Monk, that one's pretty good. Pretty good monster. Wow, somebody has this. I believe that's Raul Light. Just because this is a rare monster, because it's a, a natural five star light monster, and light and dark monsters are, but he's exceeded his uh, mentee list, so can't do that. Then this is another cool one. So we just pretty much maxed this out. And then Lucian, you're going to probably hear a lot about this monster. It, a must want by pretty much everyone in the game. Very great monster. So this list of monsters is actually pretty cool. This person using this as a red. Wow. I like like this uh, water dragon gear. Right? Pretty cool. So you definitely want to feel this out. When you start the game, you want to feel out this list. Because this is going to be the most important list the most imp most important thing for you to have when you first start this game. Another thing is guilds, which we're not going to jump into guilds yet because it's not quite important, but it is a one important thing when you do start the game. But we're going to do save that for another episode. So that's the big the big part of the basics when you first start. After you get through all of the basic tutorial things, you want to check that options tab, go through all of those, make sure those things that I listed in the beginning, if you find those as important, as an importance to you, based on you personally, you change those things. Uh, we're going to bring it in. We're going to bring it in, people, for, for this last little, little cat. Get all close, up and close and personal so I can reach out and touch you, let you know what I'm talking about and everything. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that mentor-mentee list, you know, since you're early, you're the mentee, you want to get those mentors. You want to max that out as soon as you start so you can have people that carry you. We're going to do like a little, a little run. I, I believe we should be able to do uh, this next stage. And we can take, we can take uh, someone in. These are the, the mentors. And Doran has added you to the friend list. Yep, so we get to get uh, the mentors plus Doran is automatically on our friends list. Before, we didn't have this in the game. So this is one of those new features that for you people that's brand new to the game is really great. So it, th now this is the part it explains in all of your friend reps. And you can take them in. You can only take one in at a time. And... They can help you through the game. At this beginning part, you probably don't even need don't even need them because you should be able to clear it with your monsters, no problem. So we just take those in and take out this stage. It's the monsters. Watch out. So we still don't have autoplay yet. So we gotta get to level three to get our autoplay. So 
But since we have attribute advantage against that wind monster, we're going to put our fire monster into him. Same with water going into this fire monster. And we got the freeze. So this guy will miss a turn if possible. Most people get rid of these monsters uh, once they find better monsters, but they're actually not bad of monsters. They do have usage going into a later stage of the game. Mostly this guy and him, but sh she's still a pretty cool monster to have. Like, they're all still pretty cool monsters to have, but a lot of people um, feed them to better monsters later. And I wouldn't be mad if you, if you did, because they're easy to obtain. So let's take out the little ones first and then save the big guy for last. So they're going to all focus him. He's going to be in trouble. And he already have these things that we call dots, which is continued damage effect, which like each turn is pretty much a burn. So it's like you lose 5% of your HP every time that happens. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about those things too later. So I'm going to click him. Now, he's really not going to do much damage to them since he does have the disadvantage. So he's probably going to fall as soon as this thing gets a turn. Over time, can we do, hit this increased attack power? Nope. We got. So can we beat him? Yes. And we win. And we level up. We got a new best time. We got maxed our energy plus one. And we get crystals. Which is cool for level one. Okay. And now we get a rune. Okay. This has been a pretty long first introduction. Uh, I do apologize if uh, I did take up quite a bit of t time here. We did complete some of the challenges. So we got some of that. We get some experience and some mana, which is always good because you're going to need mana to power up wounds and other various things. And an unknown scroll, so we can summon that too. Okay, and we get level three. Okay, so we should do another battle, shouldn't we? It's because we got level three, we can autoplay. Nah, we ain't gonna worry about it. We'll wait till another video. But these challenges, these are actually pretty important. This is what's gonna help you progress. This is what you're gonna do, and we're gonna start going into that um, as we continue to go on in the game, and as we continue to go on through this series. This is the Gamer Dude signing. Out. I hope you enjoy. Let's bring it in to finish it off, people. Let's bring it in. Bring it in to you. I want to get all close to y'all, people. Let y'all know how I'm feeling. Because I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good. But uh, I hope this has been entertaining as well as helpful. Um, in the parts where I was trying to be helpful for you guys that starting off in the game that's brand new to the series. We have a lot of stuff to go over. I'm going to try to structure this as well as I can possible because it won't be an easy task. And I might tend to get all over the place and have to backtrack a bit. But I'm going to try my best to sit down and really get myself geared and prepared for this. And we probably do like we did before, put out one of these a week if possible. I spent so much time doing Twitch now that it's kind of hard to really do YouTube as much as I used to. But we're, we're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. And much love to you guys in the Summer's War community. Please do give this video a thumbs up because that thumbs up put this video on the top of the listing. And when it's on the top of the listing, people that's brand new to the game get to get the education that I didn't quite receive when I started the game. <laughs> And I definitely want to help people not get into those pitfalls. And for the people that's been around before through the first series, thank you all for watching. And I am out. Deuces.